Welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. We are going into the exciting world of comics today. I don't know how you caught your reading phone as a child, teenager, or young adult, but when I was much younger, like many other young stars, I was a big fan of comics. Superheroes like Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, The Avengers, and Captain America absolutely captured our imagination as young kids. Those comics were easily imported into Nigeria back then, and they were relatively cheap. Today, many of them have been turned into blockbuster movies raking in billions of dollars. Yes, billions of dollars. For example, Iron Man 3's worldwide box office revenue generated over $1.2 billion. Avengers generated $1.5 billion. And the sequel to that, The Avengers Age of Ultron, generated over $1.4 billion. We are talking hundreds of billions of Naira. The two most famous comic companies that own over 70% of the American comic industry are DC Comics, the owner of characters like Superman and Batman, and Marvel Comics that own characters like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. Now, a few Nigerians are blazing the trail in terms of creating Nigeria's version of comics with locally created characters. These local comic creators are immensely gifted and visionary. They are attempting to tap into a tough market with huge potential that can create jobs, make loads of money while entertaining and educating young readers especially. Two of them joined me at Terra Culture to share their views and experiences on comics. Tunji Anjori is the founder of Panoramic Entertainment, which creates comics that focus on telling Nigeria's history. Somto Ajulochuku is the founder of Vortex Comics, which produces comics that both entertain and also promote African culture. These young men, who are in their 20s, are reminding us of just how much creative talent and economic potential Nigeria has. Enjoy my chat with them. Sumto Tunji, thank you for joining us on the Channel Book Club. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Now, you guys are pioneering indigenous comics in Nigeria. What's it like? Tell me about that industry. Um, Tunji, let's start with okay. you. Okay, oh, well, the comic book industry is a very interesting place. I grew up reading comic books myself. I fell in love with comic books in 1992 when I watched the Flash TV show and I saw this spectacle on TV and I was like, what is this? So I just ran, took a pen, started drawing and I just acted as if, okay, I can do this too. And then I realized that it takes more coloring, different aspects of it. So I was trying all this all through my life until I realized maybe I'm not the best artist, but you can write and you can put together a team that can do this. So it's been something I wanted to do almost all my life. So that is how I, I entered the industry. But entering the industry is definitely different because when you look outside into a window, it's different when you're inside that building, mm -hmm. looking outside. Let, let's put that in perspective. How old were you then? Uh, 1992, I was five. So at five, you were, you were reading comics? You had... I started reading comic books at age five, six. Five, so six. throughout the 90s, I read all the Juma Jurera, the DCs, the Deadpool, when he wasn't popular and everyone would call him Spider-Man, Fantastic Four and all that. And as I grew older, I started digging back into older comics that were before my time. Uh, so how many, how many children were reading comics then I mean, in, in th your world? Th that's another, I, I'm glad you asked that question, Kony. It's another question that I'm happy to ask because when I was reading these comic books, I would share them with people in primary school with me. And I realized they weren't reading comic books as... I thought it was everybody that was reading these things. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it's not as on a wide scale as I would like it to be. And when I, when I concluded that that is definitely the case, I decided that I was going to start, you know, doing something about it. Okay, um, Somto, when did you get into it? When did you start reading comics yourself? And, and what's, what has the experience been like? Um, well, well, my experience has been quite, uh, you know, it's not the, the uh, usual, you know, experience because uh, I started reading comics about five years ago 
That's five years five ago. Five years ago, I know that's completely okay, ridiculous. Okay, again, let's put that into perspective. <laughs> How old were you five, five years, years ago? Five years ago, I was 20 years old. So you were 20? In, yeah, I was 20. I was in, uh, I think I was about to get out of university. So it's, uh, during that period, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a late realization of this awesomeness, you know. There I was, you know, sitting down and I finally discovered that, hey, you know, these comics have been there. Like, I'm not Spider-Man. I watched the movies before I even started to read the comics. Okay. But then when I started to read them, it became, a, it became an obsession. So I started to talk to people and, you know, uh, we started to, I set up the company, Vortex Comics, and, you know, we started to sign up titles. You know, we started to talk to people that created already, like uh, the Dark Edges and the June 12th. And, you know, we told them that, hey, um, we have this vision. This is how we can actually push this culture. We know that you're giving up on it because the industry is tougher than it seems. But, you know, we believe this can work. And they, you know, they took our hands. And, you okay, know, that's how we started. Well, we're going to come back to that. But let, let's, so you were five. When, when I started, when you started reading comics, when, yes, when, when, when you got reading. into comics, yeah. and you were twenty when you got into comics, <laughs> that's like an old, okay. old but, man boy. But, but no, had, there's never a right time <laughs> to get into it. You know, that, that, that's interesting. Yeah. So, so that that means um, people get into comics at different ages. Yeah. yeah. Most now both of you are in your twenties. Yeah. You yes. know, and um, now, now let, let, let's talk a bit more about that industry. All right. You know creating comics uh, these are comics you you have created um um Tunji. yes um and these are yours some too yeah you know how how um viable is the comic book industry what are we talking about how important how relevant you know are comics how are they or how relevant can they become you know in a society like like Nigeria. What are we talking about here when we talk about comics? I mean, for me, like I already mentioned, as I have mentioned, I started reading primarily through comic books. I learned the word mutant through X-Men, and this was, I was learned in primary school, and this was way above my pay grade in terms of learning big words like that. So I, my diction sort of picked up via comic books, and even my sense of understanding, because comic book genre blends still imagery with written words, and that just makes you understand on a level that a teacher will struggle to, you know. If you're saying something to a group of people, people understand it differently. But when there are images and words, people can understand it on sort of an aligned uh, playground. Which is why there are a lot of comic book readers who, after they read comic books, all they want to do is discuss, did you read that issue? Did you like this? Did you like that? Oh, no, I didn't like this. Oh, I didn't like that. So that, that, that is how I got into comic books.